Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So happy to have you here today for a new video. We are going to be doing a little Saturday vlog. Um, it's currently 7.15 a.m. and I'm gonna be heading out shortly to go to a hot yoga class. Um, I go to Sweat Yoga, they're located in Santa Monica. That's the one I go to at least because they have a couple locations. Um, they have one in Little Tokyo, West Hollywood, hmm. A couple other, I can't remember where the other ones are right now, but they have a couple locations around LA. And yeah, I'm going to class there. That's how we're going to start the day. I'm going to take a quick shower there. I do need to wash my hair today, but I am not going to do that there. I'm just going to do like a body shower um, and change out of my sweaty yoga clothes. We're going to go to La La Land to get some work done. And then, which is another one of my favorite spots in Santa Monica. Then we are going to go to a new place. It is called Aristia. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Hopefully I'll figure that out today when I go there. Um, but it's a needlepoint store also in Santa Monica. Um, I need to get a couple of fibers for the next project I wanna get started on. Um, so we're gonna go there. I have not been to a uh, needlepoint store in person in California. I've only been to one and it was in Philly. So excited to check that out. Then we'll come home. We will uh, probably take a bath and a shower. I need to get laundry done. Um, I need to water my plants. And it's just going to kind of from then on be like a chill rest of the day. But I thought I would take you along regardless um, to, you know, see what we get into today. So like I said, it's about 7.15 right now. Um, my class starts at eight o'clock, so I'm probably gonna head out in like the next 10-ish minutes. I've got all my stuff packed. I've got like my tote bag with my laptop and like my, you know, wallet, all that stuff. And then I've got my other, my yoga bag. I've got my yoga mat in this holder. And then I've got in the other big tote bag, I've got my yoga mat cover, um, the like towel that goes on top of my yoga mat in class. I've got my like little yoga towel that I use because it's hot in there obviously. And then I've got a shower towel, I've got all my shower stuff, I've got a change of clothes. So whenever I go to a hot yoga class, I always end up having to bring a ton of stuff. Um, even if I was coming home right after, I would still need to bring two of those towels. So anyway, that's what's going on today. I hope that you're excited to come along with me for the day. Um, and let's go get ready to hit the road. Sorry, the lighting is not great, but I just finished up in yoga. I took a quick shower afterwards, put on some sunscreen and mascara, and now we're gonna go head over to La La Land to get some work done. I just wrote for like two hours in La La Land, uh, made some good progress on an article. Hopefully I will be able to get that done. If not later today, um, tomorrow, I'd like to finish it up ahead of this coming week. So that was what I just did for like two hours. And now I'm going to go head over to a couple places, Trader Joe's, Air One, and the Needlepoint store. So I brought one of my canvases with me. I shared this in a recent video and also on TikTok, but I recently got this. It's one that was released at the Needlepoint Spring Market. It's by Initial K Studio. It looks like this. I'm gonna finish it into, or get it professionally finished into a little like zip uh, top bag that I think will be really cute for like traveling and bringing with me. So I can just carry like some needlepoint stuff on the go. Um, so I am gonna go kit this with some fibers. So I'm really excited about that. The needlepoint location I think I mentioned is in Santa Monica. So it's near-ish to where I am right now. And it's actually also really close to Air One and Trader Joe's. So I'm gonna stop there as well because we need some laundry detergent and toilet paper at Trader Joe's. And then I'm gonna go to Air One to hopefully try the April member smoothie. Um, it's actually a slushy, so I'm intrigued to try that. So let's go head out now. So I'm back home now from all my outings. It is two o'clock. I feel like I just was gone for a very large chunk of the day, but I wanted to give a quick review of the little Erwan April slushy. Um, I don't really know if I would call it a slush. They called it a slush, excuse me, not a slushy, but it's kind of just like this like pebble, like crushed ice with like the liquid poured over it. 
So I drank it all, like most of it, and it's really good. And now it's just kind of like melting. So there's like very minimal flavor with some water is basically what it tastes like, but it was good. Um, it was like a hydration, like drink thing, um, which actually is probably good because I was in hot yoga. So I was sweating a lot and I drank through my whole water today. So I need to definitely drink more water now that I'm home, but I wanted to show you real quick the stuff that I got at the Needlepoint store. I think I mentioned that I wasn't sure how to pronounce the name. I think it's Aristea or Aristea, um, but it's on Wilshire in Santa Monica. And this is the stuff that I got. So as a reminder, this is what I was going to be kidding. Um, I wanna have this be into like a little zip uh, clutch or like a little zip bag. I think I might end up adding like a couple extra rows on either end just so like it's a little bit bigger because I probably will like lose some with like how they finish it. I'm still new to like needlepoint stuff so sorry if I say anything wrong or anything like that um, but I might end up adding like maybe like two rows on the top or bottom and then maybe like a couple out on the sides. Maybe I'll add white around it just so it's like more secure. I'm not really sure but I wanted to go and get uh, fibers for it. So for the two shades of pink, for the two stripes, this is what I got. This is all um, silk and ivory. And this is bubble gum. It's like not very, coming clear very well because there's obviously light coming in the window. And then this is, where's this, watermelon. Um, it like in this light, it like is, more pulling I feel like the red from my hat but it is like a a deep pink so excited for these two colors and then I also got four skeins skeins of white um so one of the things that I was not very knowledgeable about before I started getting back into needlepoint was that dye lot uh apparently really matters when you're getting your fibers for a project. So for the project I've been working on, which is that XO, XO Hugs and Kisses uh, large pillow, I got it kitted and I think I'm like worried that I'm basically going to be running out of white pretty soon for how much I've used. And I think that that's like partially my fault because I was, you know, at the beginning, I was like leaving really long like tails and I was like cutting it off and I feel like I didn't, I would just like go all the way to the edge and instead of just like looping back, I was just like restart in a different spot. I was like not doing it correctly basically at the beginning. And you can tell when you look at the back um, of my canvas on the top part where I first started compared to like the bottom where I'm at now. Um, so I do need to, I'm pretty sure like track down from either a store or like somebody in like a different needlepoint like Facebook group or something. I need to track down a dye lot. So you can see on the card here how it has the lot number. Um, so each dye lot is like apparently like a little bit different. So I think I need to track down another skein of that white um, because yeah. I'm thinking I'm going to be running out of it because I haven't even gotten to the X's and O's that are all on the outside of the canvas. I've just done the middle part and I'm like into my new, uh, my second skein of white and I'm just worried that I'm going to run out of it. So if that happens, uh, which like I said, I'm pretty sure it's going to, I'm going to need to track it down. This is a very long story, but anyway, so obviously this has some white, but it's very minimal, just like this section and these stripes and then like I said if I want to like add some around the edge just to make sure it's like a good size um so I got four skeins of white this is not the same dye lot as the one I've been using um which is where my dilemma is um but I figured it will hopefully be like less than one skein I mean I'm, it definitely will be less than one skein for this it'll probably be like half of this and then hopefully this other like three and a half I will be able to use for my other canvas that I have, um, which is my big other uh, pillow, which I'm gonna do after my existing pillow. Sorry, this is so confusing. Also, if you haven't seen like my other videos where I've been talking about needlepoint, you're also probably like lost. But anyway, all that to say, I got my fibers for this canvas and hopefully this white will last me for another project. Um, and then I just need to find more of the white dye lot that I've been using 
uh, because I need it. Anyway, I also got something else. This was unexpected and now I'm officially over my needlepoint budget for the month. So that means I can't buy anything else this month um, if I need it. So I probably will make an exception for if I end up finding um, a skein of that white and I have to buy it from somewhere, I'll make an exception and just continue to be over the budget. But anyway, I got this needle minder. I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't pass this up. I could not leave her behind because if you know, Ariel's my favorite princess. My middle name is Ariel because of The Little Mermaid. So I have an Ariel pin collection. I have like Ariel canvases that I want to get eventually. Um, but I just thought that this was so pretty and it'll look really cute on here, especially because I'm gonna start this uh, while I'm working on my other one as well. Um, not because I'm tired of it or anything, but just I wanna try like doing two at once. Um, especially because I have like, you know, I have enough needles and now I have the threads and everything or the fibers. Um, but it's so pretty and I feel like especially when I'm stitching like Disney canvases, it'll be so cute to have her there. Um, but yeah, that's all the stuff that I got and the people there were really nice. Um, they gave me stuff in my, oops, I just dropped the little label. Um, they gave me my fibers in a plastic bag. Um, this plastic bag was what my uh, canvases came in when I bought them. And I never, I don't have any plastic bags. We don't use them. We only use like the stasher bags. So that'll be nice actually to have because then I can keep stuff separated in my collection until I end up buying um, like some other needlepoint bags or something. But anyway, all that to say, I need to get everything unpacked, put everything away. I think I'm gonna go and sort the laundry. I might figure out if I wanna eat something. Um, but yeah, I gotta get the laundry sorted because I would like to get that done. I also wanna take a shower, but I'm probably gonna do that after I do the laundry. Um, like later, if I take a bath, I'll probably do some needle pointing. So let's get into the rest of our day. Everything is cleaned up in the apartment. Dishes are done, plants are watered. And I'm gonna sit down and have a little snack before I go needle point for a bit. Gonna have this hummus, it's my favorite. Um, it's the Caramelized Onion by Esty. I get it at Pavilions if you're in LA, but I'm sure you can find it at other grocery stores. And then some of these multigrain crackers. I get them in a big box, obviously, at Costco. So I'm gonna have this um, for a little snack and then I'm gonna go hang out in bed and probably watch some YouTube or something while I needle point. So I'm still feeling kind of intimidated to do basket weave, but I want to do something new besides continental on here um at least maybe for like this uh you know the background area and i'm thinking about doing upright gobelin goblin gobelin i think is how you pronounce it um because it seems like it'll be pretty easy to do and i just counted and there's 12 like sections of two here there's 24 rows in this so i feel like it'll be pretty easy especially for like these you know larger sections um I'm just not really sure how it's gonna work yet in between all the letters but that's what I'm kind of thinking about um but this is the book I've talked about it before the needlepoint modern stitch directory um and it just has lots of stitches so you can like look through and decide um but I also like looking up like people's videos to see how people do it even though I think it's really helpful to have like the actual stitch plus the diagram um but I'm just kind of flipping through and seeing if anything calls out to me I feel like some of these are obviously like too advanced still or like wouldn't really work but I'm just looking through to try to get some inspiration somehow I have been roped away from needle pointing in bed and to watching Wrestlemania Bill on the couch <laughs> but I did watch I did see earlier when Jason Kelsey and Lane Johnson came on and that was great obviously because this is in Philly where I'm from um now The Rock is wrestling who? Seth Rollins. Seth what? Rollins. Rollins. Exciting stuff over here. It's time to make something to eat for dinner and honestly nothing sounds as good to me right now as some waffles. So that's what I'm gonna make. 
Did you just see the powder come out of this? Um, this is the Birch Benders uh, Classic Pancake Mix. Obviously vegan. Um, all you have to do is add water. I also usually add in some cinnamon and some um, vanilla bean extract. So it makes it like extra yummy. I'm also going to mash up um, some frozen bananas. I actually don't know if this will really work. I'm gonna do what I can. Um, and some chocolate chips. So let's make some waffles for dinner. My waffles were 10 out of 10, delicious. I took a shower, washed my hair. Um, I've just been letting it air dry for like the past 20 minutes, just been scrolling on my phone and stuff. And I had my tea steeping in the other room, um, my peppermint tea that I have every night. And I just went to go get it from the kitchen. Um, to bring it in here and the tea bag had like a hole or something in it because I picked it up and there was just like loose tea all in the cup so I guess no tea for tonight because I don't really feel like going and making another cup right now um but I'm gonna dry my hair and then we're gonna call it a night it's a few days later and I just realized I never ended off that video so I wanted to pop on now and end things off I hope that you enjoyed coming along with me for my little Saturday adventures. Sorry, it was a very needlepoint heavy video. I was just watching and I was like, oh my gosh, people who don't know about needlepoint or don't like needlepoint are probably just going to be not interested in most of the stuff I was talking about, especially in like the long middle clip where I was showing what I got and like explaining the dye lots and everything. But happy to report actually that I did end up finding um, a skein of the white shade that I need for that project. Um, I found it through a Facebook group um, and a very sweet person um, offered, you know, to sell it to me. So that was great. So that's on the way. It should be here in a few days. So I'll be able to finish up my project that I was worried about. Um, so we're all good. And I did end up figuring out how to do mosaic stitch on uh, my, the needlepoint stash canvas that I was getting kitted. Um, and I've been making good progress on it. So those are positive updates, but follow me on TikTok for sure if you want more like needlepoint stuff because that's where I have been posting a majority of the time and it's been really nice. So that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed, like I said, watching. If you have any requests for future videos or any questions, feel free to leave them for me down in the comments. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you aren't already subscribed, I would love if you would do so. And I'll see you in my next video again really soon. Bye.